before we jump right in, a little thing you should know. I got this card for $8, and I bought it without knowing that it was missing a fan. My solution was simple. Just take this tiny little server fan and splice the wires and tape that sucker on. Now it should work. So what happens if I told you you could play the game Siege on this $8 GT210? You'd probably say it wouldn't work. And you would be correct. Well, that's the end of the video. Leave a like and subscribe. No, I'm just kidding. So let's rewind a bit. Now you can't run the game on the card because of a little problem. This card only supports DirectX 10.1. While every modern day AAA game uses for DirectX 11 or 12, which makes a big problem for us. But I did a bit of Googling and I found a little tool. It's pretty sketchy, but it's called DXCPL. This tool lets you force any game to use an older DirectX version, essentially letting you hack your way to playing the game that doesn't support anything below DirectX 11. And then it happened. I was finally able to play my favorite game on my shitty graphics card. So after lowering everything to the lowest possible setting, I got a whopping 1 FPS in the menu. This was shit. But I was just happy that I proved everyone wrong that said that I could not run f Siege on this graphics card. So by going frame by frame, I ran the benchmark and it blew my mind. I got a whopping not just 1, but 1.5 FPS. This seems like really really bad fps for a game and i was like hey one frame per second okay let's play some casual Let's just say, just don't do it. It ran even worse somehow. Then I tried some terrorist hunt, and it was unbearable. And I would get more entertainment by putting this card in a blender on high than continuing to play this. But at least I got a kill, so I was happy. So, then I thought, hmm, what about if I overclocked it? So I did. I just maxed that shit out for maximum power. And then I tried the benchmark again and got very, very similar results. And, well, overclocking didn't do crap. If anything, it didn't affect it at all. And if you can learn anything from this video, anything is possible, if you force it to. And don't use a crappy GT210 in 2019. Use your integrated graphics, they're probably a lot better. If you like this video, leave a like and consider subscribing.